fight focus. Let's talk about this fight. Frank, man, what was the first fight you ever remember getting in? Man, it's elementary. Uh, you know, I, I, I was a bad kid, dog. Like, <laughs> I was, I was like, a, I was a bad kid. Man, I was jacked this kid up, man. And, and <laughs> you remember was, the kid name? No, nah, I don't remember the kid. I was yeah. just, I was bad, bro. Then I'm gonna be real. Then my middle school, I tried to sneak in the dance. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? I, I couldn't, you know, like, you know, in middle school, they have, like, you can't, you can't have no suspension. So, yeah. you know, you got to be, you, you, you got to, you, you got to be tight. Everything got to be tight. So I had, I got suspended. So I'm, you know, I couldn't go to the dance. So I sneak into mm-hmm. the, the dance. The security guard come grab me, bro. Like, bro, he jacked me. Like, man, I'm saying, hold up, bro. I jacked the security <laughs> guard. I put him in the sick, bro. I put him to the wall like this. And that's right. <laughs> that was another fight, man. But... I, I haven't been enough, in a, like, I haven't fought in a long time, though, but when I was my yeah. younger day, I used to be a bad kid. Man. I was bad used to kid. get it in. Yeah, so it tell, in. give us a little sneak peek, or let it be known right now, what will be your music interest? Like, the, the music you, 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 you're going to play when you walk into the ring, have you decided on what that, what that music will be? I didn't decide yet, you know, because I've been so, so focused on getting myself ready. Mm-hmm. Because uh, even though I've been around Boston for a long time, just been different. You know, just eight weeks, man. Um, like I used to, like I tell people, I box, but I, I I didn't do it for the fighting. I did get my position in football. Mm-hmm. I haven't picked the music yet. This, this, it's crazy because the lady asked me this morning um, when I got to Tampa, like, "What music we gonna walk out to?" I said, "I got. Let me think about it." I didn't, but I do know, like, I'm walking out with my kids because yeah. whatever happened in the ring, I know they gonna be behind me no matter what. I would tell you that. Um, but I haven't got to the music yet. So I probably a couple of days I should do. Yeah, you probably should take it, you know, bring it, bring it, take the crib with you. You, know, uh, you got you got Ross, hey, you got you got you what'd you say? Hey, Trent Daddy Ross. Yeah, T double D. You know what I mean? You already know how back in your hurricane days, you already know Trick used to rock with y'all boys. You got Ross, you got Kodak, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you got a few to choose from, so you got a few days to get it right. But shoot, Ross, Trick, Kodak, I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna see both of all, all them guys, you know, they're my boys, man. Yeah, um, but I'm, I haven't thought about it, though. I haven't thought about it. I've been, hey, I've been a lot there, bro, trying to get ready, man, because you know, something different, you know. No um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, bro, I'm nervous, you know, because you know, um, you know, I want to do good, man. No question, you know, I want to, so, um. But I'm excited about it, you know. And when, like I tell people, once I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna go 110 to make sure myself don't look like a fool out there. And, and I think I had a great eight weeks of camp. I've been training with some real, like experienced guys in the ring. Yeah. Um, they'll be at the fight, and I want to, like, you know, they watch this. I want to tell them thank you. Uh, all my teammates who been behind me pushing me. I want to say thanks to my my strength and conditioning coach, uh, Pedro. Uh, even my my other trainer, Marty. Um, mm-hmm. extra time, man. Walk me through stuff. Um, so man, but I've been locked in, bro. I'm I'm very serious about. I was very serious at camp. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to do. Yeah, and I know you've you showed a lot of respect for uh, Darren Williams. Uh, you know he's more than a worthy opponent. How do you plan to overcome his reach? You know, based on his length that he has on you. Well, I can't say that right now until I get oh, in the yeah. ring. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, you not. They, I just gotta see how he move around. Okay. You know, okay. When you get up on him, you can't see like, you know, even though you know, like I know he played basketball, but I still think you know they don't move like football to us. You know what I'm saying? So once I get the feel of see how he moving around, then you know me and my coach can adjust the stuff. <laughs> then no question. Uh, but it, it, you know, it, it will be difficult because he is a big guy, tall guy. Um, but I still gotta see how he moving, see can, how he used to reach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, hey, man, I'm gonna be watching. Like I said, man, all everyone who tuning in, check us, check Frank out on Showtime, man. Go ahead and pay for that pay per view, man. If you was a fan of Frank on the grid down at Miami, at San Fran, throughout his entire professional career, you got to be a fan right now. I mean, yep. it takes it takes a a, a a very very dedicated individual who has never boxed professionally to go out and do it, and do it no, on this level. So that's already a win. But fine, that's why I can't overlook them. Everybody's yep. my basketball club, man. Listen, 
man, if you, anybody get into that ring, man, they got to know something. They, they got to know something. They got to have some type of tough. Man. No question. Uh, and that's why I can, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him like he's like an undefeated fighter, man. Yeah. You, know, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? And no I think, question. I think both of us, it's his first time, you know, he been around MMA, um, for a little minute. I've been around, been around Boston for a, a little minute. So I think, I think it'll be a good night. You know, yeah. best man. Man. So man, listen, last question I have for you. I know you focus on this fight coming up. But let's say this fight is a success for you, right? You feel good. You feel comfortable about the job that you were able to do. Um, your trainers, everyone was like, yo, Frank, you exceeded the expectations. Is there anybody in particular you might want to fight? Maybe like someone like a Jake Paul? Or do you want to stick with fighting ex-athletes? Uh, it depends. It depends how I feel after the fight. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be real. In fact, this training, bro. It's tough. It's tough, though. <laughs> You know, you got to understand, bro, like, in the field, man, you know, we, you know, we get a week of practice, then we play. Yeah. Was eight weeks straight, bro, a grind, like, five, running five, six miles, sprinting, like, bro, we got the spar, and then I'm still learning, and mm -hmm. I'm in there, I got over 300 amateur fights, 10 and 0, you know, and, and, and pro boxing, so it's like, and they not taking it easy on me, man. Yeah. You know, um. So I'm gonna see, man. I'm gonna see, bro. Cause it's it's a tough sport. And then so it's, like, I was gonna say it's funny that you said that. So I know you've said you're in the best shape of your life. So mm -hmm. let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say a contender, a playoff contender in the National Football League. Tell them need a running, need a running back, right? Get, need a running back. This is the dog. This this is the most cut I ever been, bro. You ready them, to go? I, I'm ready, bro. I'm telling them I'm, I'm coming. Especially hey, contender. Yeah, a playoff, a playoff contender, a team that's going to be playing in Tampa, January. Tampa, San Fran. Who else? Yeah, San Fran. Who else? Who else probably need a hex? Uh, well, Seattle, don't, they might not be a ten contender, but uh, they need Tennessee. running back help. T Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, Green Bay's too cold right now, man. <laughs> I, I'm too cold right now. I've been, I'm comfortable with Miami now, so, you know. Tampa, New England? Right? What about them Patriots? New England balling, too. It's kind of cold, but you'll go to New England, huh? I'll go to New England. <laughs> hey, you know, Bill, 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 going, Bill going, boy, you can't count them out. You can't no count question. Bill out. You can't count Tom out. No question. Uh, so we'll see. I'll, hey, hey tell them to come grab me, baby. I'm the best shape I've ever been in. The door is still open for Frank Gore. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. He ain't just done yet in the best shape of his life. And talk about a team that just need that one player in the backfield to kind of get them over there. Hey. Frank say he ready. Four minute offense, I'm ready, baby. Four minute offense, <laughs> short yardage, goal line. Hey, I'm ready. I, I keep my pass low. Yeah. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And not to mention, you're a great tutor, a mentor to some of the other younger oh, backs on the team. This is this not is this not if the non technique out, keep it tight, man. Keep it tight. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Whoever, I'm ready. No doubt, no doubt.